All right, today I'm doing a video about truck driver attire. The mandatory shit you should have in your truck to wear when you're a driver. All right, let me roll these windows down. We can't keep the truck running while I'm getting loaded here, but uh, truck driver attire, mandatory. T-shirts, gotta get you some T-shirts. Go to your local swap meet. If you're out here on the West Coast, depending on your size, you can get four for 20. You know what I'm saying? Get you some pro, some pro club t-shirts or whatever. Uh, because I'm a big dude, you know, I, I use a, a lot of extra fabric. So my stuff is about $12 a t-shirt. T-shirts, dicky shorts, basketball shorts. You need three types of shoes in your truck. You need your work shoes. You need uh, your shower shoes. And you need your maybe going out shoes. Um, you guarantee to need a hat. Me, I like to keep a variety of hats. I like, if you see, I usually wear a hat. I like my little thing right here and fitted hats. Depends on where I'm at and what I'm doing. If I'm in a um, in the hood, you know, I, I tend to wear my fitted caps more. You know, if I'm somewhere where it's more uh, where I don't want people to be intimidated by me, I usually put on my Kango. You know, because you treat, if, if, believe it or not, you treat people different depending on the hat they wear. You know. If you was uh if you saw a dude had on a turban, not the terrorist thing. I'm talking about the actual turban hat. Um you know, I actually will rock a turban. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie though, those Indian dudes be looking suave as hell with their big beards and the turban wrapped up and they be walking and strolling. Um you also need I take that back, you probably need four pairs of shoes. Alright. So you're gonna need your going out shoes, you're gonna need your work shoes, you're gonna need your shower shoes, and you're also gonna need some flip-flops. And what I mean by flip-flops, I'm gonna just call them slides. You know, they're not the ones that go in between your toes, they're the one that go over your foot. Me, I got uh I think mine's are either Steve Madden's or Kenny Cole's. You know, they all mine's is all tore up because I had them for years, but boom. You know what I'm saying? So that way you can uh on days you just don't feel like wearing shoes or whatever, you can slide on your Kenny Coles or your Steve Maddens and uh, be good and comfortable. But basketball shorts is mandatory because you're going to, especially if you're OTR, because you're going to be doing a lot of traveling and you want to be as comfortable as possible. In the wintertime, sweatpants, sweatpants shorts. Um, me, I, 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 like, I like to wear uh, Dickies. Like right now, my attire. I'll show y'all what I got on. So yeah, what I got on. I always got the truck in the three-point stance. <laughs> so, boom. Got my shades because it's bright out here. When you get your shades, I suggest to get polarized shades. Uh, T-shirts. Dickies. And sh tennis shoes. You know. Uh because I'm out here on the west coast it's hot so I don't really want to be wearing pants and restricted stuff or whatever so uh so if you're getting out there on your own going solo I suggest you pick up you especially if you're a smaller guy that you can get you can go to your local swap meet or t-shirt outlet uh hopefully y'all have those in whatever area you're in and grab you some t-shirts um if you wear white t-shirts, I'm going to tell you now, they're going to get dirty real quick. You got the seatbelt constantly rubbing on your shirt. You pulling fifth wheel, so you're going to see people with black grease on the shirts. Um, you know, so white t-shirts get dirty real quick. I still wear white t-shirts, uh, but I prefer to wear darker colors. So like a black, uh, brown, blue, you know, darker colors where... The dirt don't show as much because on the way i mean there's been some places where you just be like why you still have that shirt on you need to take it off and burn it because it literally looks like a tree wiped his ass on it <laughs> do, do trees have asses do they pee do trees pee they eat carbon and spit out oxygen so all we're breathing right now is tree flatulence huh never thought about that but uh 
so yeah i always go get you know if you if you have the money to do it uh you might have to take you know a couple loads to get paid once or twice but because you're driving you're going to be passing a lot of outlets and stuff and especially depending on where you're at a lot of them do have truck parking or somewhere where you can park your truck you know always park in the back of the parking lot don't be fucking parking in the front park that shit in the back if you see like a lot of rvs and stuff you know you could probably slide out over there park your truck um but uh as far as shoes go you can go to a nike outlet there's buku's at nike outlets out there and you don't necessarily have to go to the Foot Locker or to the malls. You can go to the outlets, go to a Nike outlet, get you some um, whatever shoes you want. If you want you some comfortable tennis shoes, I've gotten Jordans there, fifty bucks, sixty bucks. You know, if that's the, if that's the shoe that you like to wear. So uh, go to outlets, get your shoes. Go to swap meet, get your draws, get your socks, get your uh, t-shirts, uh, dickies. Uh, cargo shorts or whatever don't just go to these main stores you don't have to you're a truck driver you don't you're not out here to be stunting on them you know you can have you one or two outfits to stunt on them uh, in your truck when you're going out with friends or family or whatever you know if you're a smoker you want to get you uh, vacuum bags so that way you can put you know your going out clothes in a vacuum bag that way they don't smell like menthol or Marlboros or Newports or Cools or whatever it is you smoke camels, you know, because ain't nothing worse than just being around somebody who's just been in the truck smoking and smoking. And you got your windows up and air on, that smoke is just sticking to your body. And, ugh, that's why I vape. But, um, so yeah, basketball shorts is mandatory though. The reason why basketball shorts are mandatory, they're comfortable, they loose fitting, you can always lift them up, you know. Uh, make sure you get you a Gatorade bottle every day so you can piss in <laughs> not saying you're gonna have to do it but you might be in the middle of fucking nowhere and it's gonna be cold outside and you need to piss as a man we just could whip our dicks out you just need a big bottle with a big opening that's how i look at it so get the sobe the sobe's has a big opening where you can at least get the tip in and uh gatorade you can get the tip in you know, I tried to <laughs> I had to piss so bad. I tried to piss at one of these right here. Yeah, not happening. Not happening. Not only did it not happen, <laughs> the air where you piss, I, you, you, you're pissing oxygen. And when I take the shit shot like a rocket bottle, because I try to put as much of the tip in as I can. I try to squeeze. And I, yeah, because I had to piss just that bad. And the pressure built up. And it just, it was a mess. It was a mess. I learned my lesson. When you do try to piss in the bottle, keep a little air slot. So you got to kind of not put the whole thing on it. Just put a, put enough where you can get the piss in and let the air out. <laughs> where did that come from? But, um, so the air can get out. But anyway, uh, or when you're driving, you can just lift up, whip it out, piss in the bottle. Shout out to Trucker Brown. <laughs> he mentioned that too. But, uh you ain't the only one that's doing it other than that you would just pull on the side of the road go in between your truck and trailer and relieve yourself if you're you know because it'd be like next rest area you know 75 miles you know that's an hour and some change like hold on i can't hold hold mother nature that long um no i have never shitted in my truck shout out to you know who <laughs> y'all don't know who but i know who he know who i'm talking about i've never shitted in my truck i would never shit in my truck you know the the smell of ass is already uh can get kind of potent when you've been sitting for hours upon hours upon hours in that driver's seat i swear if i, if I like my driver's seat that shit probably just be like a nuclear bomb just oh you probably wouldn't even catch on fire it just disintegrate <laughs> but um back to the topic i said i'm gonna keep my videos on topic from here on out basketball shorts dicky shorts uh jeans depending on if you're otr so you get you some jeans you can go also go to the swap meet get you like some uh levi's and stuff like that um they probably fade on you but you're a driver you're not really worried about that unless you're um 
Uh, I should show y'all that dude sliding his tandem so y'all can get a view of what it looks like to slide your tandem. Um, what else? Get you a hat, get you some shades, make sure they're polarized. Let me see if, if the camera can pick it up. There. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, anyway, get you some polarized shades, in which case I got mines from my outlet, too. And listen, I'm cheap, man. I'm cheap, but I like quality, so it is what it is. So if uh, somebody's better half is looking at this video and uh, want to get your, your other half that's driving prepared for the road, get him, depending on the time of the season, T-shirts. T-shirts is a must. T-shirts, uh, you can also get like a dicky, the dicky shirts with the pockets on it or whatever to make it look more like a uniform. Get you some dicky shirts or get you some T-shirts. Go to a T-shirt outlet, go to a swap meet. All this stuff I'm mentioning is at a swap meet. Uh, get you, you can get your underwear, socks, uh, shorts, pants, T-shirts, four pairs of shoes, depending on your situation. Um, and you should be good to go as far as uh, what what the attire that you need out here. Next video I do, I do what, what accessories that you would need out here. Hopefully, if I get to it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. There it is. That lady got a donk. <laughs> she bad body though. Um, Oh, that's it. TRB, the right brother. If you're on Instagram, follow me. Hashtag the trucker's life on IG. All right. The trucker's life. Y'all take it easy. Peace.